Hi all, welcome to Aaron's Design with Wine. Today, I want to tell you the story of this amazing COVID kitchen. We had been planning this kitchen for uh, a few months and it was a long process because you'll see in the before pictures they had soffits that wrapped this entire space and we had weighed out a more budget-friendly option of painting the cabinet and just doing a facelift on the kitchen as we investigated it i told sandy i didn't think that we could overcome the soffits and give her the return on investment. We decided to go ahead and do a full gut drill that we did. It is beautiful. And she'll come on a little bit later and tell you what she really enjoys about the new floor plan. But I'm gonna go through today and tell you three things that I'm looking for in this kitchen that makes it personal, makes it stand out. So the first thing I wanna tell you about is this window detail. We did something really special here. The wood molding that was here originally wasn't working out anymore and it didn't marry up with this kitchen. So we added a custom marble detail to frame out this window. Sandy loves a good window treatment. We did a custom Roman shade and it just tops it off. It's like the icing on the cake. But don't underestimate the power of fabric and window treatment. So that's my first tip. Two is lighting. I have been incorporated amazing lighting in this kitchen and now it functions well. We have under cabinet lighting so you can chop your vegetables and not your finger. We have island lighting, we have a chandelier, we have accent lighting here and in our butler's pantry that you'll see. And then of course strategically placed recessed cans that highlight all of the cabinetry that we just invested in. So that's tip number two. So tip number three is to have some fun with your hardware. We mixed it up and put some gorgeous crystal knobs on the upper cabinets here. What makes them different is that they're square. You'll see in the detail photo, they're just stunning. They're not overly frou-frou. And then we switched to this gorgeous metal down below on the base cabinets. Why not? It adds a little glam. Now, I would like to introduce you to Sam. She's gonna tell you a little something about the floor plan. Welcome to your very own kitchen. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I think one of my favorite things, if not the favorite thing about this new kitchen is the new floor. We were working before with a peninsula yeah. and Aaron convinced us to change to an island mm -hmm. with a cooktop in the island and a few stools on the back side of the island. For the grandkids. Yes, and I can remember telling her, oh, I don't think we'll ever use these. But of course, we use them all the time. Oh. And, you know, I think that this kitchen is, has been very family friendly to us and our first thing is to have our children and grandchildren around. So I always like to provide treats for them. <laughs> Some so, M&M's. M&M's, goldfish, and pretzels. Oh, you're an amazing grandma. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I have amazing grandchildren. Cheers to family and to kitchens. Cheers. Cheers to being happy at home.